Hi guys, it's Netta. I have an accumulated thrift store haul for you today. Over the past week, I have been to two Goodwills, my local senior center thrift store, and the clearance aisle of half-price books. So, let's get started. At the senior center thrift store, I found these gorgeous stamps, $1.25. Best part, this one hasn't even been used. Not gonna pass that up. This lovely feather. And these beautiful pansies. And at Goodwill, I found this set of Stampin' Up! Botanical stamps for $2.99. I also found at the Senior Store Thrift Center these two packs of 100% rayon seam binding. I always snap these up whenever I can find them because now the seam binding you can buy at the store it's polyester. I got this pack of lace for $1.20 for two yards. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. And I also got some fabric. 75 cents for this gorgeous batik. That'll be great in a fall journal or any nature themed journal. Also found this cotton sateen floral print. For 65 cents. This is going to be gorgeous on the front cover of a journal. Now we're into all of the stationary items. So I am always on the hunt for lined papers that are not white or that are at least aged. So this lovely lovely journal. Let's blink. <clears throat> I found for a dollar at the Senior Center thrift store. And this kind of paper is great. This is not a guttable book, but it's still great for backing journal cards. This one is a gorgeous cream colored paper and it is a guttable book. You can see the threads where they sewed in the signatures. And on top of that, this journal is completely removable from the cover. And it's a nice little faux leather cover. That'll make a nice journal cover. This one is not only cute, but look at this yummy, yummy lined paper. And it's guttable. There's also image spreads in it, quotes. That was an awesome find. And then I always find one or two. We've got some lovely Steno green paper here. And then on top of that, I found some in purple. Yummy for backing journal cards. This one is just a standard creamy, creamy paper. And then this one is just a standard lined notebook paper, but the paper's already yellowing, the lines are faded, and the paper is thin enough that you can see text through it just a little bit. So that'll be great for backing 
book page tags and journal cards. I also found this box of stationery straight out of, out of England, but it's this lovely paper that's already aging and it has, it has a pretty cool, pretty cool watermark. I don't know if you can see that. paper it's not as thin as onion skin but it's still pretty pretty nifty fine for a buck and it has matching envelopes which are already aging and they're made out of the same paper as the stationery I also found this slightly oversized graph paper notebook it's barely starting to yellow, but it's probably 9 by 12 inches rather than 8.5 by 11. And I want to say it's Scandinavian. On top of that, this was my big awesome find. I'm not a big fan of coffee and tea dyeing, so I'm always trying to source papers that can mimic that without having to mess with it. I don't have the patience, and I don't like the way the paper feels when I'm writing on it when you coffee and tea dye. So, look at these gorgeous marbled papers. There were five colors in a pack, and I had just been looking at this exact paper on Amazon. And they were $5 at the Senior Center Thrift Store. $5 a pack. And they had three, so I snapped up all three of them. And I have one more small lined paper journal. The paper is cream, but it's edged in blue. So this is going to be, some of this will look perfect in my shark journal that I have planned. Just because of that, that little detail. That the pages are edged in blue. I also found at the Senior Center Thrift Store some self-adhesive book plates that I can include with journals. Like how cool are these? And they're gorgeous. I won't adhere them into the journals. I'll leave that up to the journal owner. But very cool. And then half price books. I found in the clearance aisle for $2. I found this music book. And it has some lovely yummy yummy creamy music paper in it. I also found, for $2, this music literature book. It's pretty chunky. But it has gorgeous typewritten font, music imagery. This one is going to be multi-purpose, just because there's even some reproduction script. Just stunning. And then, this was an awesome find at Goodwill for 99 cents. It's a magazine from Africa and from 1971. And look at all of these gorgeous images that I can use in future safari journals. I was very excited to stumble on this one. So, 
That one's going to go into my Safari Journal bucket. And then I found this one at Goodwill. This one has just stunning artwork plates in it. Now some of these will lend themselves to being split. Just fold it in half so that this half can be the front half of the book and this half can be the back half of the book. Or in the case of images like this one or this one, it can be folded in half but then make that the center of a signature so that you're getting the full spread without interrupting the artwork. Look at how look at how stunning these are. Seriously, just gorgeous. You know, I'm starting to collect on accident a bunch of imagery with whales. I think I might have to do a whale journal too. If you guys haven't figured it out, I'm all about nature and animals and botanicals. I found this book at Goodwill. It's actually a book about adoption, but every the back of every page has a gorgeous gorgeous piece of line work on it that one's going into an owl journal that I have planned lovely I also found you know some of the Beatrix Potter, Potter books that I found lately, they don't have Beatrix Potter's actual artwork in them. They had somebody else's. So this one actually has her artwork in it. Owl Journal. A whole bunch of these can go in, in the Owl Journal. But they are I'm so excited. So cute. And her artwork is always gorgeous. So I don't know if this is expensive for a flower fairies journal, but I couldn't leave it. I mean for a book, I couldn't leave it on the on the clearance rack. I probably won't do more than one fairy journal, so this this book could very well be the only one that I ever need. But it's the um, tree fairies, the flower fairies of the trees. Super pretty. So next we have, or as my youngest would say when he was little, and then, he was so cute. And this one. Most of the pages are these gorgeous black and white line work illustrations. I can't wait to figure out what to do with these. And then there's some small sections of colored book plates. We've got yellow flowers. There's some orange, pink, and red. And then blues and purples. And then the rest is all yummy, yummy. Black and white line work. And then this one. This one is perfect for fussy cutting. Look at how great for fussy cutting. I'm not sure how many fish journals I'll do, but... The reason I grabbed this one was honestly for the shark section in the back for the shark journal that I have planned. So 
So there is no shortage of bird identification guides to be found at Goodwill. I honestly have more trouble finding books with other animals and or flowers in them. But I shall never run out of birds. So this one has full color book plates on every page. But a lot of the images are almost too small for fussy cutting. But they'll still make great... Like, this is already, like, divided. That'll make two great journal cards right there. I do have a Bird of Prey book journal in the works. So these will work for that. And then, of course, there's always the Owl Journal. Oop, and Hummingbirds. I'll be making journals until the cows come home. So, this one... This one, I fell in love with this book because not only are there images in it that are perfect for fussy cutting... But there are a lot of images in here that are just straight up going to lend themselves to being journal cards like that one. That's a ready-made journal card right there. It just needs to be backed with some paper. put that one in the safari journal. There is a ton of gorgeous artwork in this one. And then last but not least, this book. I snapped this one up because it's perfect for fussy cutting. The birds are big enough. There's very little overlap between the images. And the few pages where there is overlap, I will turn those into journal cards or page spreads because this book, this is one of the books that I can gut. But it's full of stunning, stunning images. Hummingbirds. More birds of prey. More owls. See these. See like this page. There's so much overlap. I'll either have to save that page for a page spread or turn it into journal cards. All right, guys, so that's it for my thrift store haul. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back with more later. Bye.